Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Hello. I'm working on a new ball and post sculpture. So I was just doing some welding. It's been one of those days. Everything's gone on the floor. And uh, I got a email the other day, yesterday. Guy wanted, he's just getting into welding again. And he said, I don't understand about duty cycle. Could you talk about that? Could you tell me what that is? Well, okay, sure. Come here, let me show you. So this is the Longevity uh, Pro MTS 200. Now that MTS stands for MIG, TIG, and Stick. So it's three functions in one machine. The duty cycle, that's how long you can run the welder over a given period of time. So let's say, let's say 10 minutes. You know, the duty cycle on this machine is 30% at uh, maximum amperage, which is 200 amps. So in a, let's say a 10 minute time span, and I'm just pulling numbers here, in 10 minutes with a 30% duty cycle, you can weld for about, what, three minutes? Three and a half minutes right in that area? And then you would need that rest of that time for the machine to cool back off again. Is that true on each of in each of the modes? MIG, yeah. stick, and yeah. TIG? Yeah, in, in MIG, TIG, and stick, all three of them are rated at 30% at maximum amperage. So 30% of the time that it can run, the rest of the time it has to cool off again. Now that does not mean that the machine will only run for three minutes at a time. You know, it will run much longer than that. I'm just trying to give you numbers that are easy to compare and easy to look at. Especially so, if you're not maxed out on your amperage, right? Right, right. You know, if you're not running at 200 amps, the duty cycle basically goes up. You, you get longer and longer, you know, period of time that you can run. So, it, you know, I was just running at about, uh, at about uh, 90 amps, I guess, you know, 80 amps right in that area. Um, I can weld with this machine for probably an hour before it shuts itself off, continuously welding for an hour. You know, I don't have that much filler rod I can feed or that long of a weld, but that gives you an idea what, what the duty cycle means to this machine. So this is Longevity's MIG Weld 250P. So it's a MIG welder and it has a pulse function in it. That's what the P stands for. The duty cycle on this machine is up to 30%. So the same kind of formula, you know, 30% of the time you can run it, the rest of, you know, the rest of the 100%, it has to have a chance to cool off. I have never, ever hit the duty cycle on this machine. It has never shut off on me. And I've been running it at 150 to 160, 70 amps, you know, welding on, you know, half inch plate. And I've never had a problem with this machine. But now let's compare this machine to like the, Miller-Matic uh, 251, which is another MIG welder, just exactly the same size and shape and size. So now with the Miller-Matic, the, the 251, uh, basically the same machine, you know, 250 amp MIG welders, both of them. One has pulse, the other one does not. You know, this is a transformer-based machine where the longevity is a uh, inverter-based machine. Just a lot of electronics. But the Miller, the duty cycle, is 60% at 200 amps. It drops down to 40% at 250 amps. So they're still pretty close in duty cycle. You know, 30, you know, 30 amps versus 40 amps, or 30% uh, versus 40% between the two machines. Now, why? You know, what? what what makes the duty cycle? What, why is there, is there a difference from one machine to the other? If they're both, you know, 250 amp MIG welders, shouldn't they be the same? No, not really. Because a lot of it goes down to the, uh, the size of the electronics that are inside. How durable they are, how readily they shed heat. That's the big culprit with duty cycle. When the machines get hot inside, when the cooling fans come on, when they're working overtime trying to cool themselves, 
they have little temperature sensors that will say, I'm getting too hot in here, I'm going to burn myself up, so I'm going to shut you off. And, and I'm going to just sit here and cool off a little while before I'll let you work again. That's what it all boils down to. So the 40% duty cycle at 250 amps versus 30%, a little more robust, a little heavier cooling fan, uh, you know, bigger cooling fins, um, you know, more robust electronics, you know, they can handle a little higher heat a little better. That's what it all boils down to. You know, that, that's where the duty cycle comes from. But, you know, we're, we're looking at 40%, we're looking at 60%, you know, we're looking at only 30% with the, with the multi-process. Come on over to this other MIG or other TIG welder, and let me talk about that one a little bit. Now, this is uh, AHP's Alpha TIG 200X, just a TIG welder with a stick welder, you know, built inside there, so two function as opposed to a three, fu three function machine. The duty cycle on this for the TIG welder at max amps is 60%. Way up there. The difference? Look at the size of the case. Great big case. Lots of room inside. Where the longevity is a little tiny case with three different functions in it. This is a much bigger case with only two. More cooling. Better, you know, better air flow. When I turn the machine on, the hot air comes out of the ducts here at the bottom. I can feel it 15 feet away. So it's got just a heck of a fan in there trying to blow, trying to cool itself off. So very important, you know, duty cycle, very, very important. You know, look at what you're going to do with the machine. Are you going to be, you know, just you know, welding on the bench, playing like I do? Are you going to be building, you know, race cars? Are you in a production you know, facility where that machine's going to run all day long. They're all going to need a different duty cycle. You know, if you're going to make a living with the machine, you're going to weld, you know, six, eight, ten hours a day with it. You want the highest duty cycle you can get. So the machine doesn't leave you sitting while it's trying to cool off again. So, hope that answers your question. See you later.